<laughs> Welcome back to another part of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Anyway, let's play. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. The dear old friend? Who is that? Is that Ciri? Well, well. Should look around. Wait, I feel like we did this. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we did this already. You alive? Don't. It's... Sorry, I don't know why. Why? God. Sorry. What? So. Horse. Take. Thanks. Bedlam. Run, my buddy. And then while I was running out, he just uh, disappeared. I followed him. So when he touched the door, he just disappears. So that's uh, pretty much on our way to the next area as where we ended the, the previous episode. But anyway, let's continue on, baby. Uh, we still have to uh, get the janitor. We have a side quest here as well. What happened, kid? They... They... <laughs> hey, wait. The great git. Grab him. Oh, you can try. Oh, you dare. Oh, you dare. You dare. You dare. You dare. <laughs> Thank goodness, dude. 17th try, his head fell off. Hello, get out. Hello, baby. Good folks, pull it out. Witch. Now that's the life. That is the life, isn't it? So, one of our swords is definitely in need of repair. Power of the eternal fire be with you. Help, save me. I'm dying. Fucking hey, Don't mind me, just jumping. Doing my stuff. Oh, the game is saying we should turn around. Turn around. This guy is snoring, dude. Sleeping on duty. What? Ah! Changeling freak. Yo, just move, bitch. Let me get out. Oh, my goodness. Fare the unwell. Yo, Trixie, welcome back. Okay, it's over here. Okay, we found it. <laughs> oh, man. Awful pile. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? These nuts on your chin? Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redaniums? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up, at least. Well, don't mind if I do. Hey, girl. Just look at the freak. Thank you. 
What do you want? <coughs> Everyone just wanna call me bad names, dude. Like I'm just here playing a video game. Assholes. Uh I don't think we have a place to repair our our gear in this area. This could lead to a problem. How's the game for you so far, Trixie? For me at the moment, I think I'm broken strong. This house is always I feel really, really strong, to be honest. We still need to find light boots as well. I don't know which vendor is going to sell light boots. Dude, it's a thousand meters away. So... It's all the way here. I hope inside that city we have a, a repair guy. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed, dude. Faster. It's like this is the place where we had a horse race once. Okay, we found the next TP point. We need, I feel like we have to run through here, just to check. There, yeah. Dude, can you please not take out your sword? Eh? Come on. Have you ever played Control? No, I haven't. It is a game that I definitely want to play at some point on the channel. Uh, Control, Heavy Rain, The Walking Dead. Uh, the Final Fantasy series, not just like one or two games, but like the whole genre. Uh, the whole Tomb Raider genre also, uh, the whole Metal Gear Solid genre. There's a lot of games that I still need to play. That if no one sponsors, obviously, then I will just slowly but surely go through them. But at the moment, uh, Kane is the only one sponsoring games. And he's sponsoring 10 games a month. Which adds up to be about $50. And, uh... He only sponsors horror games. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here, either. <laughs> you blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. Hello, baby. Solved. Vernon Roach. Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I you can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. <laughs> I 
I would very much appreciate that, Trixie. Just say which game. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. But I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. There is there is certain rules to games that you can force me to play, right? We need to repair this. Can I use this repair? No, it's only for armor. Do I have a rip? Yeah, I do. Might not be worth it all, but whatever. Whatever. I don't know if I have to run with that other guy. I don't think I have to. Let's dance. What is that? Oh, it's a spirit. Should we dance? Hello, girl. Ooh, got the shivers. Oh, I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> okay. Go, go. Yeah, I'll play none of those games, though, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm open to quite a lot of games, actually. I mean, I I still haven't uh, played any Uncharted game on this channel. Witches, good folk, are like necrophages. I, I haven't played any Digimon games on PS1. Take it easy. What the heck was that? Long live, Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. You can't find the sponsor thingy. Uh, what do you What do you mean? The the Excel sheet. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. Yeah, I'll play Far Cry 5, the lucky. If you guys sponsor anything, I'm gonna play it after this, though, after Witcher 3. It's fun to win yourself, isn't it? Don't 
They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? Uh, <laughs> killing time, yes. To kill time? I have no time to squander, let alone kill. I see, Trixie. To reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Yes, sire. Believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. I was not speaking literally. First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You'd just give me a man after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt. Come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Okay. Goodness, chill. Okay, let me just pause here, get you guys sorted out. So, the thing is, like, you can also donate $5 uh, to this channel. And then just tell me which game you want me to play. The problem with that is that YouTube takes 30%. They take 30% of your donation. So if you donate $5, then 30% just goes to YouTube. And then I have to pay like another 20, 30, 40% taxes. So like it really, it really mitigates like any donation you make, right? And that's why, uh, you know, I love the fact that Kane is inside crypto. Because he's paying me then in crypto, I get the full amount, it's no tax until I withdraw the money to my bank account. So that, that makes it really nice, right? Uh, the second alternative is, um, I would say PayPal is the second best alternative. Uh, the problem is I also can't get that funds. That, that funds will go towards buying games again, right? Uh, it's just better to do it that way. So... Yeah, there's no really like best scenario at the moment other than just crypto.
It looks like I just leveled up as well. <laughs> so... Yeah, you don't screw with crypto. I, I get that, Trixie. Um, uh, the lucky also don't really screw with crypto. So, like, we do have a spreadsheet. That spreadsheet is called Roadmap, so you did find the correct one. Uh, the spreadsheet, only the thing that it shows you there is the playlist, right? From A to Z. I need to just, like, organize it again. So, let me just organize it again. Um, sort range from A to Z. And... So now you can see from A to Z games that we did cover. Uh, the thing is that if you want to sponsor a game, obviously you can't double sponsor it. So like it has to be a game that we haven't covered yet. So for example, just look for, like you can just control F here and just search for your game. That you want to sponsor. If there is no game like that, uh, obviously you can sponsor it. Um, the other thing is there's a PayPal link. Uh, the thing is I don't get a notification when you do it, so... Again, it, it might just be better to just donate it to the channel. I do have another link here that I think might be better. Just give me one second. Let me just triple check and make sure that this link is working. What up? Yeah, I like I Metro game is fine. Metro 1, 2, or, or Metro Redux, uh, Metro Exodus. I do have Exodus. Uh, Kane actually bought it for me like a really long time ago. He bought that game for me. Like back then, he bought me one game a month. I don't know if you guys know about that. And I could just tell him which game I want and he would buy it for me. Um, but right now, it's better for me to have money than it is for him to buy me games. Because I have that, I have so many games. I have 1,300 games on Steam. I have about 1,000 games on PlayStation. So like, and most of them are different games. So I do have a lot of games that I can cover. Um, it's just like, I'm one person and I, I need to get eventually to all these games. And that's why I have this donation feature. And trust me when I say this, Kane also didn't like it until he figured out, like, hey, I play the game for, from beginning to end. Games that he wanted to watch but never got to play or watch himself. So, like, it's a cheaper way to see, like, how good a game is, right? What about Mafia? I, uh, I actually played Mafia. Uh, I think I played the first three episodes of it on Monzi Games on this channel you're watching right now. Uh, the thing is, all three episodes got demonetized because, I don't know, maybe it's the name of the game. I have no idea. It's not a great game to cover, but I will cover it if you donate it. Yeah. I'm just trying to see here. My alert should work. I'm just going to check here. So if you donate, let's say $5... So it does work. The problem is that it's not correct. I don't know why it works like this. So I'm gonna like, I don't know how this website works at the moment. Like, how much their cut is, but at least there's a notification. And then you could write the game and we'll, like, all hear it at the same time, right? So, I'm gonna just, like, uh, save this. And then go over here to the vertical one. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna just reset it. And just try it again. Because it was wrong. There we go. Uh, so... Hmm. 
I'm going to give you guys a link soon. Super chat. Uh, I don't know why everything changed, dude. Like, okay, save settings. You're thinking Far Cry Five? Yeah, I'll play those games, guys. Like, I'm a big fan of Far Cry. I remember what well, playing Far Cry Three. Like, one of the singers here in South Africa was in right. Um. The Antwerp was in one of the songs there. Okay, so this is supposed to work now. Do not share that link with anyone. Okay, but where is the donation link then? Uh, where is the donation link then? Uh, we're gonna also have a membership thingy like i think it's gonna be like six dollars a month on months uh, on let's play master once we have it on the upload channel for if you're if you're a six dollar member you'll also do one um you'll also get to do one game per month i will ask in a community post for people to post their games there that they want me to play that is uh, that membership, that level of membership. Uh, for now, we're not going to do that for members at the moment. But when the channel gets there, we will. Uh, would Hitman demonetize? No, Hitman doesn't demonetize. I think Mafia is the, the name, right? I did play Hitman 3 or something. Like, I just don't understand the game. I, I don't. Like, I shoot someone, then everyone shoots me and I'm dead. Like, I, I, don't, I don't get the game. Where is this link, dude? Oh, here it is. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one right here. I don't know how big their cut is, by the way. So I think, yeah, this will go straight to my PayPal. And if their cut is like 10%, I'm fine with that. Um, but I don't see anywhere where it's, they, they claim how much it is. Wait, but the lucky is saying that he might. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys can't do that. I might enable it sometime in the future. Where it's like, okay, if you want to give me a challenge, then I do it more. Oh, I see. Okay, I got a notification on PayPal. Trixie donated four and a half dollars. Thank you, Trixie. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Which game do you want me to play? Like, for real, I'm gonna write this down on the Excel sheet. I don't think you should do Far Cry 5, to be quite honest, because the lucky might... He says he's thinking about it. He hasn't sponsored a game yet. I covered 151 games, dude. And the lucky hasn't sponsored one yet. And I think, I think Kane sponsored like 80% of the games we finished, just by the way. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. One dollar fee, PayPal? Are you serious? Oh, it's a half a dollar because I, I received four and a half, uh, five and a half dollars. So it looks like it's a. 
Let me just open up PayPal here. You can't do Starfield, um, Trixie, because I already did the game. I already finished the game. Oh, okay. You okay? So it says here you paid five and a half dollars, and I received a total of four eight seven. So they take like, they t yeah, they take like sixty cents, seventy cents. That's still a lot, dude. Like, wow. Thank you, Trixie. I appreciate it. Yeah, I played Starfield. I played it on release. It's on my YouTube channel. It's also on the uh, playlist. If you go through the S's. Starfield, Spongebob, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Spider-Man 1 for PS1, South Park, Snow Day, South Park Fractured but Whole, but I didn't finish it. I only played the one episode. You're more inactive than you thought. I, I'm not blaming you, Trixie, like... Do you, like, you have no idea how much I post. <laughs> right, my channel is like... I think I finished more games in one year than the Rad Brad has in his whole channel. Like, that's how crazy it is at the moment. Finished 151 games in like a year and a bit. What's a year and two months? Somewhat, but I did stop for like four months. So you can say pretty much in a year. And doesn't sound like much, but you go, you go finish Alden Ring. Go finish, like, all these long games I play, dude. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, Cyberpunk with all side quests. Like, there's a lot of big, like, long-ass games we played. Have I heard of Kina Bridge of Spirits? No, it sounds like a horror game. Kinna Bridge of Spirits. Nine out of ten on Steam. Okay. Came out 27th of September. The game, the game graphics, the game graphics make me think of... Uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, another game I've never played before, just by the way. Uh, what's that game called? Not Terra. Is it, no, it's a Terra. I forgot. It looks interesting on Steam. It's Dark Souls? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm checking it out now. Yeah, I can play it. If you want to sponsor this, yeah. That's fine with me. Bridge of Spirits. Are you sticking it? That's your final answer. That's your game. Not Dark Souls. I know, I know what you mean. I played a lot of games that Soul like uh, as well. Um, let me just go to my channel quickly. Like, I've played... Like, especially last year, 2023. Uh, we played... 
Remnant 2, which is like souls like, but it's it's guns. Uh we played uh, Wild Hearts, which is Souls like, but it's more like Monster Hunter type of Souls game. Really, really hard. Uh, Lords of the Fallen, also Souls like. Really, really hard game that we finished as well. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of them actually. That's your final answer. Cool. No, no, no. You don't buy games, Trixie. You just donate five dollars and you tell me the game. And uh, we come to an agreement, I say yes, I can do it, or no, I can't. That's pretty much it. So we just settle on a, like an agreement on, on a game, that's it. So I'll play the game for you. Thank you for the sponsor, I appreciate it. The game definitely looks interesting though. Don't want to play the music, might be copyright. Yeah, I feel like I've covered so many good games last year. I feel like, oh, this game came out in 2022. Okay, never mind. I think 2023 was also a really, really good year for games. Um. So really good game, f yeah, really good games. Bald uh, Baldur's Gate, I think, is one of the best games I've ever played. Like, hands down. It's not my favorite type of genre. Like, I hate turn-based games, but that was insane. That game was definitely, like, next level. My offer stands, if you change your mind, uh, just say so. I don't know. And I got the game, don't worry. Make the priority 2%. No, I'm going to play it afterwards. I don't want to play that horror game that, that Kane sponsored. I don't. I'm so tired of horror games, dude. Like, if I'm going to be honest, like, I'm tired of it. <laughs> but we'll, we'll play it eventually. I just have to, like, get my... You know, get my stuff together. Okay, we're back, baby. Um, we, it seems like we leveled up. We do have a skill point to actually spend, which is surprising to me. Uh, but yeah, we need to go down on this list as much as possible. We need to get this eventually. Uh, it's going to be important for us. Spinning attack, which is going to be our only usage of our adrenaline. So we need to get that as soon as possible. When vitality reaches zero, adrenaline points will immediately be consumed to restore it. The amount restored is based on the number of adrenaline points used. So then obviously we have to also equip it. And for now this is fine, I think. Scrum before I lose my patience. Oh. We don't want that now, do you? Are you losing your patience? Oh my goodness. Quest failed. I already spent the coin or point. Back the rock. You started cheating on all your single player games you to lighten the boredom. If you want to see me cheating, Trixie, go watch me play uh, Song of Horror. Stay out of my way. I remember, I remember back in the day when the game came out. Uh, someone sponsored it as well to me. I have the game on Steam. Uh, I think it was maybe Kane. I'm not too sure. But like, I could do with a little. I played the, I, like I played the game for six hours long, and I was still stuck in episode one. And I was just like, nah, maybe. Um, this is not working for me. So I have two screens, so what I do is I have on the left screen, the one I'm not playing on, I have the speedrunner running, and then I run it on half the speed, and then I just do whatever the speedrunner does. Like, oh, look at that! Oh, snap, look at this. I don't know why I'm grabbing this, but look at me run now. Thank you for spitting on my penis, bro. It's not wet enough. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? 
I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. <laughs> now I'm come for you. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. Bro, what are you even screaming for? Thank you, bro. It's game over for you. We have the entrance. Or the key. Open sesame. Oh. Oh my goodness. Why is this game so easy now, dude? What have I done? Oh my goodness, bro. Just remember, I'm like... Pressing square here. I'm like not even heart attacking, dude. We're just, like, destroying, dude. Amateur weapon repair kit. Thank you. Smoking pipe. Well, that's why you got your ass whipped. Let us be honest, my bro. Nailed it. I think that's all of them. My adrenaline is boost. Not your lucky day. It's game over, me. Where's your head at? Where's your head at? Ah. Look at him dancing. Trying to twerk for me. Dude, you're supposed to be dead, man. What the heck? Monetary assistant, yes. Mon, 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 mon. Yeah, that game. I mean, I'm gonna play it. Ever find a witcher? Would there be a really one shot? No. Oops, yeah, I pressed the button. I shouldn't have. I think I'm poison resistant. Keys required. Thing about Far Cry 5 then joining you, I think the chances of you being able to join me is like absolute zero. What are we looking for here? Search the junior's residence. Okay, we found enemies in here. Then they had no key. And these doors are all locked. Oh, here we go. We blast it open, I think.
Oh, here we go. Got a trail. No, that's just the door we broke. Even if Far Cry 5 is co-opable, uh, the co-op sucks when it comes to singing the gameplays. It's the same with Borderlands. It's because there's no dedicated server, so like I have to host the game. And if you live in another country, like you're not going to be able to shoot. That's the problem. It's a shooting game. So I tried playing uh, when when uh, Borderlands 3 came out online with one of my friends. And even if we live, like, close to one another, like, the game is just unplayable online. You can't play it. At least for my country. I don't- I don't understand this quest, dude. Like, search the residence? Like, I'm searching. Like, there's no indication of anything nowhere. Maybe I do need a key I don't know from where though. Oh, here we go. We got stairs here. Oh no, I'm overweight now. Fucking degenerate. Please. That should be fine. Touched Siri, he'll pay. Nailed it to the wall. Yeah, a buggy soft won't fix them. Only upgrade the gameplay is to sync with Ghost Recon games. I mean, I can't really talk for those games, but all I can say is games that doesn't have a dedicated server is not worth playing. What the sandwich fuck is this? No, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what? What do you want? Hello, Junior. Been looking for you a while now. I've come to kill you. I'll give you all I got. Please, bro, just stop showing nipples, like, obviously. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. 
A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need <coughs> details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Oh, I'm gonna play Siri again, dude. <laughs> time to see some sexy butt cheeks while we're running. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. Anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. How much? Climb the roof. Well, let's go get them, girl. There it is. Oh. Oh. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'm Batman. That's another genre we haven't even touched yet, dude. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Lies, dude. Fucking kill you, cut! Energy. Each time Sarah uses a special power, her energy declines. Some energy is restored each time you attack a foe. You will regain access to Sarah's special abilities once your energy is increased to equal your level. Where's Ruvin's treasure? I'll get you, you little whore. Language, my brother. Where's Ruvin's treasure? Fucking kill you, cunt! An eye for an eye. Yeah, the Batman series, Trixie. We haven't even touched that yet. Uh, they're coming! Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! Is this guy in his underwear? Want a smack? No. Goodness, dude. I can loot them for some reason. We can't access our inventory, but I can loot. Nice one, city.
Why can I loot though? jungle fat man series that's what happened tell you true what happened to the woman fuck if i know one of the boys got her in the back but she's alive i swear it got anything else to say i've told you all i know Everything. You she attacked me. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Refuse to sully myself with your blood. No, he has to die, bro. Like, someone like this, the, the world will be better without him in it. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. There we go, 500 XP, dude. I'm a fat man. Skibidi bidi pop 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 pop. Nailed it. Yeah, that guy has to die. All those women that's just dead around him. That's not okay. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur-of-the-moment patriotic impulse? You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Don't have to give me any games, Trixie. Just sponsor games. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape. Again. You may go. Why did I say that? I'm done thinking about it. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Shut off, yes, boy. Shut off before I lose my patience. 
Listen, people. Like, I just want to continue on my quest, dude. Okay, that's a level 16 quest. We don't want to do that anyway. Yeah, all of them are pretty far. Long live I should have just said yes, but... But how do I get off this boat now? Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. In a hurry. True. But they also say it's the driver, not the car. I want to see you, the best driver in the world. Put Max Verstappen inside a a, 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 a Mini Cooper. And let him drive against a Formula One. I want to see that. Tell me it's not the car. <laughs> Spit in your mouth. <laughs> we need to go here, guys. We need to go and get some inventory rid of, to be honest. You. Hopefully you have money now, dude. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. He has quite a bit of money. Mm. We might actually use that. Okay, inventory. Sword. <gasps> no way, dude. Not steel sword. We'll take a new silver sword, not a steel one. Help me, I assist you. Wouldn't mind a lucky. He takes this also. Uh, we also need to check for cloth boots, by the way. Or not cloth, light, right? Ooh, dude. Yeah. There's light boots for us, finally. That is mine now, son. You know how much damage we're gonna deal now? Yeah, we are broken strong. So long. These sign stuff is not really worth it, it seems. Help me, Ed. Wouldn't mind a little. It will sell this. Repair. Hundred one to repair. Can we upgrade stuff? Crafting. It's a... What is this? It doesn't say whether it's light, heavy, or medium. Anywhere. But it says requires level 16, though. That's some big daddy gear. There's just too much when it comes to crafting. Like, I don't, I don't really want to play that type of game, I think. So long. Okay, meet Triss. Sure. Somewhere. Well, don't mind if I do. Somewhere here. No? Somewhere here.
I think I have most Batman games also on Steam, by the way. I even have uh, uh, Arkham Knight. Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight. Yeah, I actually have a lot of Batman games. That's just too much to do now. Ooh. Uh, around midnight. Why, thank you. Ooh, yes, let's go. Let's go, baby. You always wear tight trousers. You always wear tight trousers. Yes, for you, I'll wear anything you want. <laughs> Meditate until 12 p.m. Okay, meet Triss here at midnight. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. <laughs> Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Manga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Let's do it. Hopefully she's gonna twerk for us as well. Gareth, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Why, thank you. So inviting. Where's my food? Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. <laughs> Do 
might know your witches, but you're still shit at catching them. Got, uh, got something to offer, yeah. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, Ginger Whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Ginger Whore. <laughs> Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Yeah, no problem, Trixie. Where the food's at. You can learn a great deal when you're gripping a pair of pits. I heard their food is really good, oh. Lucky. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. Oh my goodness. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. Maybe that's not a good option. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah. Let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! <coughs> Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler? Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. Oh, you bastard. No. This little piggy had none. Oh. 
Don't worry, you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. She betrayed me first. Yeah, I've plowed Triss. But what does it matter if you're paying gold for her head? Oh yeah. <laughs> Nearly forgot the mutations strip witches of feelings. No. No more. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Ow! Oh, bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? Free my friend Dandelion. It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bird for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I've a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person. Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come. Goodness. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle, dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Manga gave the order, in person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... You can't undo it, yeah? What's done is done. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe for now, though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable. And Menga's not likely to order his transfer, or anyone's for that matter. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Mr. Love. Office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. <laughs> the guards outside must still be alive, though. 
Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunken that low just yet. Ha! Huh. Goodness. Saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Ah, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Menga's the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. I think it's to bump bump. Dude, we eventually need to sell all these books soon. Just as easy as that. Walking out. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Goodness, dude. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport, though. See you, Trace. We can uh, blast this. You there, Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who's Mr. Roven? Is this guy on the boat again? Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. Hello, baby. Will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I 
want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. Thank you. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yo, watch where you're walking, dude. Okay, that is one more episode done. Tell Priscilla what you learned about Dudu. Whoa, chill, dude. I don't know why the arrow keeps showing we should run backwards. Thank you, now that I've it to the front. Oh, we do have a vendor here. Need something sharpened? Reforged? What do you have on offer? I've been here before. Actually. Yeah, he has way too many weapons. <laughs> Level 20, what the heck? Requires level 18, level 14. Critical hit damage bonus. It's actually a pretty insane sword. If it's not steel, we'll buy it. It is steel. I think we're fine. So long. Very hard to get good weapons at the moment. And we're back for some more Witcher, baby. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I don't know. This, this arrow is weird, but we have to go. Go upstairs now. Okay, now the arrow updated. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So we gotta go to Priscilla and tell her what we learned about Dudu. Or him. Back again, Rivian trap. There we I go. I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Got to find him. This plan. What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With a Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. 
He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller, a tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm, what do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I've some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Doppler's Salvation is smaller. Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simple. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Comedy. Think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <laughs> a bitcher. Wait, wait, wait. I'm kidding. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. See ya.
I didn't know that Witcher actually, or Geralt, is actually sleeping. Because the only thing you see him always do is meditate. He doesn't sleep. So that was actually the first time we see him actually sleep, right? What the heck? <laughs> what the? Where are you going? That's a place of culture, not a trough for swine to trudge to. This where Madame Arena's troop performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Thank you. Hello, mama in rehearsal. Madam Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Wow. She knows instantly what we're looking for? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. What about 50 cent if I don't want usher? Well, that's a dumb joke. I'm so sorry. Ah. Yeah, that's why we're still a small channel, dude. <laughs> Your very presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Running my way through town. Running do? fast. Face is spares and I'm homebound. So where's that Far Cry 5, the lucky? Ah. Well, maybe, maybe now that you know that we... Yeah, we can't play together. Maybe now you don't want to sponsor it. <laughs> You see, later down the line, we're gonna hopefully get monetized and hopefully we'll get a decent amount of viewers also. Take a gander over here. Then that means that it's gonna make more sense than for the $5 donations. For now, we barely actually get views, it feels like. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you wanna face? 
A Witcher versus the Beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. I actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking is what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. See, Hal's not gratis. Failed romance. Stay in the desert. You'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metin. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Gratis is an English word? I don't even know, dude. Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! What? Lost your nerve? <laughs> My coin's on the Fatas, fella. Uh, one down, baby. We haven't been touched yet. That's it. Right in the right to forget that walloping. Come on. This guy is gonna keep peace. Bro, he can't even hit me. Right in the right. Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely thrash in hell. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free. Hey, Al. Your coin? Have it. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. There we go. These bitches think they're strong, let me just put them in their place. Couldn't even touch me. Two versus one, I didn't even take a hit. They got their ass whipped. Okay, I guess we're running to the next section, I guess. Uh, right now we have... Oh. <laughs> Goodness, sorry, that ass uh, took my brain away from talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's optional. We have to recruit jugglers uh, from the performing uh, troupe. Oh, fuck. Or we could just talk to Rina and start the play. I, did, I don't think it's optional. We need to get the jugglers. Hello, baby. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Your pipe is dead. Uh. We'll recruit the jugglers. I feel like the play will just be so much better with jugglers in it. Let us be honest about it. Hello, baby. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? These nuts on your chin? <laughs> Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. 
Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemophart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. <laughs> I am a, I'm a man of few words. Oh, you say it again. <laughs> so you're the ones. Oh, Fatso, look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Straight cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insult with our arch emerald fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. We had enough. Are you sure? Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Washed your hair lately? <laughs> no. But do you want to wash my hair lately? I want to come here and wash my hair. <laughs> For you at Chapel's Burning. Uh, we got a, another upgrade here. Unlocks a level 15, so we'll take it at level 15 then. So we're gonna take this adrenaline. When your vitality reaches zero, it will consume adrenaline instead of dying. I think that's actually pretty insane. Boars. Boars everywhere. Here I am. Let's do it, girl. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. 
but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolya, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Um, I prefer someone that will actually show up for work. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Thank you. Likely so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm not an actor, no talent. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? I'll be fine. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Have Priscilla do it. Yes, I would. <laughs> Liquor. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course, we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Hm. Thanks. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pussy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you're you going to wear hose and a codpiece. Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Thank you, bro. Kind of need it. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Hopefully this will be a good show. I'll try my best. Act one. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. 
Stand guard. Beware. Kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. Do you slay the... I don't even know. I kill monsters for pleasure. And... And no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Act two. I have one line each act. We, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. <laughs> My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. That having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Oh, snap. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals, but the base heart. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he. Show love to the Dopplers, no? Yeah. Show love for Dopplers, as well as for fish. <laughs> the is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. It's not him. Scum in the dungeon! This is the Doppler. We, we found him. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! 
Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Lighten up, for God's sake. <laughs> The Doppler could also be the cat, but I don't think so. I think we found him. Geralt, you recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great! Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> Maybe you should have. I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Hold down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Yeah. Transform. Change into her. Show me those nips. <laughs> Wait, what? I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. So let's go. Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. <laughs> exactly. Your, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. I'm more interested in the experience, though. 
cursed mage hunters. I thought things couldn't get any worse. We got 110 XP, 30 crowns. Are you kidding me, dude? So the word Okay, this is a pretty far away actually where we have to go now. It's here somewhere. It's as fast as to turn around. We'll go here. Now I'm not too sure. It's like roughly here where we need to go. So let's go here then. Took longer than 10 minutes, but I'm back. Welcome back, Trixie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, quest. I just wanted to make sure. Le requires level 13. We're still a Gucci. Oh, no, 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 don't hit the horse. What are you doing? Okay, we're just following where the line is taking us. What's happening here? Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. Had enough of you lot. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. They seem desperate. Let them through. Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Let him through before I get angry. Huh? That a threat? You'll not talk to me that way. Oh no. Are you sure? We're done. Get him! He's a quick devil! That guy just got destroyed into half, dude. Are oh, you gonna shoot me? It's game over, man. You got absolutely destroyed. We'll let them through now. Oh snap, I can't hear you. We got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad. That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We'll be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you, you was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. A shirt, common shirt. No, thank you. So pale if you ate onions and oil. Kind of like a side quest we, we were forced to actually do. Which is kind of strange. Hey, uh. What the heck is those people sitting there for? Hello, baby. I need to go pee quick. Just give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second.
I'm back, baby. Did you miss me? Did you miss me, son? Hey. Hey. Did you miss me, son? <laughs> Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion? Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it, sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Got to watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. There's no place for her, that's true, but like... Why would she come all the way out here to try and stay with us? I think it's more risky for her to run back alone. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know, as soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? <laughs> Fuck that game. Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right, you know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Hello, baby. Dandelion. Damn it. So what do we do? Can you run, horse? Or are you just gonna stand there? Stupid idiot. Shit. Lost him. Rode through here. Gotta look for tracks. Here we go. No, that's a red plant. There we go. I assume it's not like time based, so like we're, I'm just gonna go like this. Ooh. 
Level 18, bro. Are you kidding me? It's just safer for me running around. So far, so good. Crumpled sheet. The day, my bloom, when you recall this heart you rent through cruel denial, words of doom. <laughs> Must have broken his heart to part with that little ditty. Yes, that's what we're following the whole time. You can chill now. <laughs> Spend all night spanking whores. So tired, you're positively. Anyone right through here? Two men, one slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, why? Something of the kind dash by. Turn left there. But where a wench she were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. Where'd you come from? Ooh. I mean, do we trust what he said? Because I can clearly see the trail still here. Now how's the work going, good man? Preparing for the harvest and all that, eh? Harvest? In springtime. Damn it. Followed the wrong trail. Gotta look for a set of single hoof marks. Heavily laden horse. Thank you. I was wondering, like, the, the circle didn't update. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. What are you selling? You can actually use the sword now, I think. But it's a steel sword, dude. Oh, he's stealing. <laughs> Farewell. Okay, where are you going from here, dude? Did your horse just vanish? Hmm. Did it like jump in the air? It might have started limping. Show 
chop his legs off at the knees. Their horse collapsed. Can't be far. We just need to get pissed with. Witch hunters? Even Big Willie's not that daft. Hey! You! What the hell? What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded themselves inside? There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. Thank you, good sir. There, I said, and shut it. All right, all right. But what then? How long do you think you can keep him in this hut? Oh, don't do that. I almost fell down, dude. And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could ring your neck like a fat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lot. Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Pankrat Viscount de Lettenhove. Viscount, kill more. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed item. You don't expect me to reveal my full title for every goitered idiot I run across. Now, if you could just unbind... How do I get where I need to go? Here's another letter. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Fire! Stop me at something. Hello, baby. Die, damn it! Okay. Got a new weapon there. Hello, baby. Can't you just like pull your tongue forward and? Okay. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's? Come on, we'll talk outside. Who is in trouble now? Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his racing after you. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here... You haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Here we go. Playing Siri again, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Time to see some juicy butt cheeks again. Bitch. Yes. Free from the temple. Keep me 
Get her legs! Leave your horse! We have to! We're almost there! I'm almost dead. Wow. Hello, baby. <laughs> the horse kicked him dead. <laughs> She blinked. Oh, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story. But I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Halflings, is that another word for dwarfs? Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over a saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Uh, no, the like, I don't think it's Siri as an iPhone, Siri. Uh, I think her name is Siri Alyssa or something like that. Uh, full name. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Don Eptenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. 
<laughs> and I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. No problem, brother. I got you. That looks so trippy on the uh, vertical stream. <laughs> Got another side quest here. Blood and Wine, congratulations. You can now begin the adventure of Blood and Wine expansion. Your currently tracked quest has changed the first quest, the Blood and Wine expansion. Yet only recommended starting at level 30, 34. Good goodness, dude. But why ever would he want that? Yeah, we're not gonna do that, that's for sure. Not yet, at least. 34? Bro, I'm not even halfway. We're so underleveled, it's not even a joke. Um, find the body of the pillar in the swamp. Uh, swamp. Uh, we are um, grateful. We wanted to demonstrate that. So, uh, we got this gift for you. Posted what the heck? Nice. Ah, uh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Hopefully we can sell that worth something. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's see where this quest is. All the way south. Somewhat here, I would say. Yeah, we gotta do some side quests, get a level or two. Just a level would be fine. Um, let's upgrade this one right here. Should we upgrade it? No, let's go into this first. Um, ignore bomb. Eating gener regenerate vitality for 20 minutes. Oh, I thought it was one hour. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> 20 minutes. That is actually pretty insane, though. Not that we eat food in a long time, actually. Stop hurting me feelings, my brother. Sure, let's loot first, I guess. Yeah, we're like level 15 now. Doing a level 7 or 8 quest, so... These monsters should be easy. Stay clear of that fog if you value your life. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twer me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help. For a fee. Course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. All right, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware, bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard ye could choke. Okay, so far I'm not losing any HP though. Triple kill. Here we go, baby. Swamp's 
kept Ambrose's body in good shape. Mm -hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Incinerate. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. Imagine that was our whole quest. Whoa, this is our whole quest. Right? Yeah, no. But it's so far away where we have to go now. It's all the way here. So it'll be faster for us to almost turn around. Turn around. Let's dance. We can dance if you want to. Goodness, I haven't said that in a long time. Okay, let's just see. Oh, we need to turn around on this path. Come on, horse. You can do this. Come on. Okay, psych was done. We'll have to ride north from here. Back for some more Witcher, baby. Oh, grabbing the notice board here. Okay. <laughs> Meet the knights. We're actually still busy with the side quests. Uh, I think it's this one. No? Geralt, thanks for everything. No problem, buddy. We need to get a horse on this side of the river. I'm not going to struggle to... to do anything with that, if that makes sense. Okay, let us continue on with our quest. We need to get level, I think it's level 17. If we don't, it's not a big deal though. I just think you don't get extra experience for being under leveled for a quest. So it's harder to do, but you don't get rewarded extra for it. Nice. Oh, wow. nice yeah. Thank you. I'll take a look. Maybe pick something. My pendant is juicy. For sure. We haven't checked out this weapon yet. Dude, it's so much more damage though. Critical hit bonus, critical hit chance. No, we still have to keep our weapon. Look at that. 50% critical hit Bonus. Thirty-five percent cause to bleed. Yeah, we have to keep ours. Like it's so much stronger, actually. Light armor, ninety-two. Resistance to pierce. I think well, this is a new chest, and it's better. So long. So we'll quickly uh, equip the chest of doom. Yeah. 
Yeah? I'll take a look. We'll sell this. Anything else he wants? Obvious answer would be no. We can sell him crafting materials. Yeah. I get it. He's a broke bitch. So long. I feel like upgrading the gear is not that needed at the moment. See, you're a man well traveled. So tell me, should I beat me when you want to speak? Me again. You're about your wife. Sorry to have to tell you, your wife's dead. Went too deep into the woods. Wild animals got her. Folks said that's what happened, but I did the hope. I'm sorry. I thank you anyway. At least now I know her fate. Your pay. Thank you. And take care. It gets easier. White one. What's your business? Bloody Baron know you're here? <laughs> But it doesn't need to know I'm here. Okay, we can actually continue on with the main quest line, actually. Find the boat headed to uh, Skellige. I don't know why it, like, averages all the way to Blood and Wine. Like, we're not ready for that. Not even slightly, dude. Yeah, sing into my ears. Make it bleed. Okay, the boat... It's a tricky question. Boat is right there. So I think this is the closest point. I should have said yes to... You know, go on the boat, but... I was a little bit scared. I wasn't sure what the level requirement would be. So what's happening with Far Cry, the lucky? Huh? You having cold feet, my friend? Swords? Boys. Not a safe round here. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. <laughs> Aye. Her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. It is quite. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Well, did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime. Thank you, woman. Let's find a captain with balls. Let me live. Dude, why is this place so sick? Did he just fart? Was that a fart noise? There's another boat there. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. One of what's happening with that building at the back there. The flickering was kind of intense. Okay, we still haven't found a captain with bowls, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Are you sure about that? <laughs> you, Wolverstone, captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? One thousand. Here, that enough? Mm. Hefty sack, like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Sail. Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away. Can't believe it cost us a thousand crowns. What the heck? Now I'm a broke beach. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to let your sword stand like this on a boat. Dude, it's rocking everywhere. It should fall over instantly. <laughs> But what do I know about balancing? My bad. My bad. <laughs> Let's do it. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Poor death. You know who he is, bro. Pirates, dude. Dude, I'm on the wrong boat. What's happening now? Am I dead? It's game over. We made it to Skellige at least. Is that a dragon? Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ard Skellig. There's a wetch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? 
If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a win should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. I'm gonna slap you. What's your name? Staingrim. Well, Staingrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. Had enough? <sighs> Best finish me now. Cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. <laughs> it was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. This wolf though. I don't know why Geralt is judging him for looting corpses because that's literally all we do. Most of our money is coming from looting corpses anyway. Move, bitch. Move, bitches. How is our horse stamina still full? Okay, what, what's happening here? Good game, good game, good game. Come on, coach. You're beating me! Good game, good game. I fucking hate the horse, dude. I could just run better. I don't know why, like, I used to love Roach when I played the game for the first time. But now I'm like, really? Do I really want to deal with Roach? But I want to. Is madness. Such a young lass. Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision. Don't tell me she's gonna burn with him. Bro. Oh my goodness.
You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsek has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Want to go to the wake with me? <laughs> Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanid? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Please, bro, I don't know. Really hate it when you read my mind. No. Stop reading my mind. Something to hide? Don't like secrets? No. We need to cut this relationship quickly so we can watch cutscenes. Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Maybe come back. Skellige doesn't seem that big at all. We barely got there and we found her, or instantly. From closer stranger. No, that's when you rob me. A man in need. We'll stick together. It'll all work out. 
The quest is actually to the left here. Dude, I'm sure we have to go like there. Yeah. But the quest is saying we should turn left. Do we trust it? Oh, thank you. You know my kind? Okay, just... Let's just run where the dots are showing, dude. Like, what am I doing? I am looking for work. But I'm pretty sure the quest that you're gonna give me is gonna be like 10 levels higher. Look at that, goat. <laughs> What timing was that? That's it, Roach. Come closer, stranger. I don't, I don't understand this come closer thing. Come closer. Go to Yen's room and put on clothes. Watch your that is your other option you have. Then we might get a juicy cutscene. We'd rather meet Yen at the party. Seems more YouTube friendly. Slower. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. This god also is interested in what, what we think. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> that guard picked at her. So, what have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese, or wagon. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Because I'm lazy. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Hmm, nice to meet you too, man. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krach on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. 
That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Altrick on Hindar. What a name. Seems they sell us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Sarison Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Sarus is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crackford? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. <laughs> Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! Let's go have ourselves a race. We'll smell juicy for the party. We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. I remember this quest being oh, extremely difficult. Born. Can we put some coin on it, Lugos? Actually, dog shade idea. You never I think I fell down by mistake somewhere and I couldn't get up again. And then I couldn't read, like, I, I couldn't restart the race. So far, so good. Maybe it wasn't this game. Maybe it was... Horizon... Not the Forbidden West, the other one. Yeah, we got this. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Uh, lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. Not it likely happened to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. Well, if not today, then when? <laughs> You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. So now we'll take this next. Spinning attack strikes all foes surrounding the area. Maintaining an attack consumes stamina and adrenaline. Fast attacks now can apply bleeding effect. Affecting enemies lose 50 vitality or essence points per second. 
Excuse me. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. <laughs> Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Goodness, language, dude. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully moody, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. You know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diversion. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Let's go, baby. Oh, shit. Dude, he's level 30. What? Lost your nerve? Show the Level 30, my ass, dude. Had enough? Ah! Oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction, sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher, let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you put a short job to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Next. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. You land rats are all the same. Fear to your wenches. Dude. I just slapped you and you're still disrespectful. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. I feel like there's a logo missing on my shirt. Take it, Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. We have a lot of water. A little bit too much, in fact. Sure, I'll take an egg. Shh. Guards. 
Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> Nothing happened. Yet. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Let me get some water. This will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Let's go, girl. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia being romantic. What the damn hell? You're cheating at life. <laughs> this is a, a pretty nice view, isn't it? Goodness. Mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Looks alive. Yes? Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Explore the mysterious room. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Question mark level. Coming closer. They're everywhere. How am I taking no damage though? Strange. Mushrooms in here. No. To my mind, it's the scent of some last time. We're becoming high. That's one less. Where can I fight this deer? That's why we're not taking damage. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. <laughs> Must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Mm. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. Yes, please. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our 
dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. Letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids warns them about you. That Skeletor's tale about the wild hunt. The wondrous world of insectoids. Seems Ermian has real plants. tobacco brought in. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove. A biography enhanced. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Ermian's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Stuff everywhere we can Sitting click on. In a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. <laughs> not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Well done, dude. Want to show off your muscles for a woman? Worthy of an imperial alchemist. And fail at it. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Dwarven triple mead. <laughs> Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Try a pine cone. Mug. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Oh, boss fight, dude. And we're dead, most probably. Where's this giant animal we saw? It. We must return to the feast quickly before. It's gonna one shot me. This it's a trap. Dead. Huh? Hear that? Smelled it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Well, I can drink this, become immune to poison. Damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna Hold kiss you. <laughs> I don't want to see your nips, okay? I want cutscenes, dude. I don't want to skip stuff. of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise a king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We've no lack of men like that. 
Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forward. My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! May the best man a woman win! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. I don't think that's true. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Ciri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, at Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Well, thank you, good sir. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald, tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They have been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Artsgelig. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik, then travel on foot to Oscar, the village. 
But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. Very well done, very well done. Didn't really get the help we needed. Hi. So for some reason, it, I think it... Yay. No, no, no. We're fine still. One level above is perfect, dude. These continental dandies come down. Yeah, I'm running instead of grabbing the horse, literally. Oof. Okay, it's pretty far away. Teleport to the closest point here. Hold up, traveler! Wait! What is it? You're clearly a fighting man with many journeys neath your belt. I'm in need of your help. You see, it's me Sonny. I'm worried. Left home a fortnight back and hasn't returned. Will you see what's become of him? Would you mind? Where should I look for your son? East of here, midst the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. A cheerful lad. A bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks. Except last I saw him, he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. Contract mission, son. Quest requires us to be level 29. I can't do stuff like that. It's gonna be like one shot killing me, I think. All we can do is pretty much just grab the quest. And keep it in our inventory for if we do need to do side quests because we're too weak for mains. Also, I feel like main quest is actually rewarding you more experience. Ah, 
Oi. Me, Jennifer, at the site of magic cataclysm. Oh, there's some loot there. Track this quest. Level four. Come here, buddy. So drinking water is going to last now for 20 minutes. That's going to be ridiculous. Hopefully this chest is worth. Got a new sword. Goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck is the sword, dude? It has a 4% chance to cause burning. It has to be better. I mean, 50% bonus chance to crit. I don't know, dude. Nah, it has to be better. It has to be. Okay, 2% chance to stun, adrenaline point gain, chance to poison, cause burning, chance to freeze, cause bleeding. You see, we could do bleed. What do we do? We'll do, we'll do increased damage. Um... Poison. Sun. This is a pretty insane sword we just got. Absolutely ridiculous. Listen, bro, can you stop walking like a crazy person? Okay, so we're gonna meet Yennefer at the side of magic. That's level 20 enemies. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? That's a level 30 big boy right there. We'll just keep running, dude. Slower. I shan't parley with you. But where are you going, Wanderer? You know this damn well. But the mask of Orberus is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the consequences? No, but neither do you. So stop panicking. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know. Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. 
I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. I'm not about to justify what Yennefer did. Then don't! But try to understand her. She's not doing this to anger you, she's doing it for Ciri. I know there are maternal feelings at play, but this is no excuse, no justification. The Mask of Urboros belongs to Skellige and should be used for the good of the Isles. If Yennefer uses it now, it shall lose its power, not to mention... What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. It's game over, man. We must neutralize the mask. Can we can we save the game here? We can. Crazy stuff. Alrighty then, we're gonna actually end it here, my bro. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm pretty tired. We got nice th about three videos in there. Have to upload it. Have to name them. Make thumbnails. And uh, then go to bed. We're having people over again tomorrow. So I'm not going to play entertainment. I'm just going to continue on playing games. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Almost four hours long. That's pretty good. Thanks for being here, guys. I really appreciate that. And we'll be, uh, I'm going to try my best to be live every night, but I can't promise anything. Since I live in South Africa, you know what I'm saying? Have a good night, guys. Take care. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Have a great time.